Hello and welcome to Tech It. As per usual. Oh, random escape menu. Right, uh, just me and Archie online right now then. I'm disconnected. And I'm here at Pandemonia. Because that is what I'm calling it, as you probably already know. So, uh, what am I planning to do today? Well, I haven't gone back to the overworld in a while, so I can probably go back and check the condensers there at some point, but I don't have any need to. Um, got some more UU matter there, as you've seen. Uh, that is mostly a gift of sorts. Um, went and visited Draco's place yesterday, so he uh, offered me some stuff in exchange for building him a sort of uh, remote door. So I've done that, and... Well, moving on from there, um, I need some more Infernal Works because I'm going to be starting the build on this uh, Pandemonia and it's going to take quite a while, quite a lot of Infernal Bricks and I have no fast way of doing it. I miss the Mercury a lie, but what can you do? <laughs> <clears throat> so, I am going to be building it for a while. I think I'm going to be doing some building here and we'll see what happens from that point. Mostly just going to extend the wall outline, get it up and running. Possibly set up a uh, an automatic crafting table up there to automatically give me infernal bricks, but I don't know, we'll soon find out if I decide to do that or not, but in the meantime, I just want to get the wall built somewhat higher, up to the bedrock level as required. This is going to take quite some time, and I don't intend to bore you all with the details, but um, I'm also recording on an updated version of Camtasia, so... Um, this is also partly a test to see how well this first clip goes, just as a sort of beginning so that you guys can see that I'm manually having to build all the bricks. I mean, these things don't have an EMC value and the Mercurial I is banned as an item, so <laughs> this is going to take a while. I mean, there are ways that I could possibly use to build this thing up, like fillers and such, but what's the point? It's a circular shape. Uh, fillers and sort of that sort of thing are more designed for square boxes. So, get off. Get off. So, yeah. Uh, so, this is the beginning of the video. <laughs> Once I move on to doing something other than just placing blocks, um, I'll resume recording. But in the meantime, I, uh, I'm going to pause it. Well, um, I'm back again in the recording mode, and I've only got this much done. <laughs> so that was about 10 minutes of just vertical building each section. Got boring pretty quickly, as expect from just placing blocks, but... <sighs> Yeah, I miss having access to my Mercurial Eye. That thing would just get me through building this in seconds. Well, it would cut the time at the very least by... 70%. So, either way, I've... gotten to the point already where I'm just thinking... Take a break. But, yeah. It's not the sort of thing you look forward to doing, just constantly building with one block a plain looking wall, despite the curvature. So I'm just thinking I might just stop once I finish off this section, get this up to the top height, to the bedrock level. Damn it. And. After that, 
We'll see. Oh, near the rack. No, thank you. Okay. Well, this is all infernal brick. There's this little bit here with the random generator and all that. You get the idea. Organize that. Right. I'm done with you. Seriously. You're boring. <laughs> so I'm going back to the overworld for a while just to check on those condensers and see if Nike's been online to do anything. She still has my. Uh, uh, she's still got my. What is it? Destruction. Um, catalytic lens. With the Dude. What the hell has been and gone and removed my frequencies? Only five. Oops. Someone has a remote. Somewhere. And they've deleted my frequency names. I do not know what that timer thing was. Whatever. Pyramid's intact. So is the template that I put there. The uh, railcraft factory furnaces aren't doing anything right now. That's fine. I think I left them like that. Oh, yep, Nike has been online. Uh, this has become grass. She's put a big dirt wall around it. Please tell me she left my catalyst in here. She didn't. Nike, you've still got my destruction catalyst. <laughs> Not that you're going to be seeing this video anytime soon. Just because of the upload times and crap. I'm sure she's noticed we've got much the uh, melons. Okay, we lost two wheat for some reason. I don't think much else has changed. Not around here at least. Uh, that all looks the same. The doors are all sealed as they should be. Or as I left them rather. God damn it. Right. That's doing nothing. This is full of junk. That hasn't changed. The Omega that's there is full now. Some more relays. A lot of energy condensers. Quite a few collectors. Full on 8 analysis. Still doing the red matter. Dark matter is almost completed a full row. And these two are going to be full chocker. Maxed. Nothing of the interest in the mailbox. Downstairs. That's still charging. It takes a while to fully charge an Omega, just leaving it in there. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I've checked on what might have changed and it hasn't. I need to try and get a hold of Nike, try and get my catalytic lens back, or... Hello, she's done that too. I don't get it. We're not going to do anything with that oil. You could have covered it up, closed it off, whatever. Yes. Well. Interesting as all of this is, it doesn't answer where my catalytic lens has gone. 
crowbar with efficiency. I made that and left it in there, if I recall. Drop down a couple of levels to speed things up getting to my private rooms. Shit. That fixes that. No. And no. Well, uh, I don't think anything will change down here either. I've kind of, kind of abandoned the uh, tunnel bore idea. That was starting to lag the server a little. I'm not sure what was, whether it was causing it or what happened. But the important thing is uh, I've now seen what has been changed around here, and it's quite a bit. <laughs> Well, not much that really matters, I guess I don't know. I see what she's done here. She's uh, spider lifted so she can't have spiders climbing in over the walls. But her words, the term spider I don't know if anyone else uses it, probably do. Either way, um... Yeah, so this is going to be rather a dull-ish episode, I suppose, for the moment. I guess I could use my uh, UU meta to make a quantum set. Finish the upgrades. So let's see. Advanced alloy. One. Quadrant. <laughs> okay. That ought to be enough. And then just I shape it. No, that's gunpowder. That does nothing. I want you. not mistaken it should be diamonds after that okay I've got six iridium plating boots I gotta check this meter up here for a moment, don't I? That's gonna be a slight pain. Where are my nano boots? I swear I had a pair of nano boots. Where did I put the damn things? There they are. And there's the nano hat. The hat I'm not too worried about. It's more just making the uh, the other parts of the quantum set. I generally just go around with um, these three pieces of quantum and then the abyss helmet so I can throw lightning whenever I want, anywhere. <laughs> <coughs> Moving on from that. Yes, yes, I want the quantum equivalents for Iridium plates. Quite spendy, isn't it? No, they went there. And then it was three advanced plates. Fully charged. Ready to rock. This is my kind of style. I mean, it doesn't match with the this helmet on my head, it doesn't look all that matchy, but I got my full height jump boosting, speed boost running, and whatever the body is supposed to do. <laughs> I still need to eat, that's the downside of not using the quantum helmet in the equation. I might actually just make that so you guys know what it looks like. 
Appear to have any though. Where the hell? Could have sworn. Uh, right. Four advanced platings. Carbon fiber and whatnot. What? We're just. No, I don't need. <laughs> I'm trying to make things without even knowing how to make them. That's pretty bad. Yes, thank you. I don't need that many. Do need another Labatron crystal at some point. Because I'm going to be using the full Labatrons and energy crystals that I've currently got towards. Uh, Quick filling my machines and storage. Do I still have iridium plates or have I used them all right? Goodness. <laughs> well, that's bad. Well, already more. I need one, two. Why did I do that? Bag. Thank you. Uh, I need to go... Yeah. Well, I don't need quite like... <sighs> what a mess. This is why I like the project table. It is tidy enough that you don't have that sort of problem. You can just leave things in there, it doesn't fall onto the floor when you mess it up. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, I basically have a full set of quantum now if I want, but I use the Abyss Helmet. So I'm going to put this here. As well as the hurricane. Well, I'll put the hurricane boots in the... Oh, God damn it. The hurricane boots in um, the downstairs area here. And they can join the rest of this armor set that I'm not going to be using. So there. Um, I haven't upgraded these two yet. I may in the future. Blowing time and gym. I've actually got both of those. I just don't. I just don't have the extra full charge omegas currently available. There's one in here I could swap out. It's not a bad idea. Then I can at least have the gravity greaves made for no apparent reason. The only negative thing is that did consume my watch. Huh. I just got that, that. I need a regular clock, four dark matter, two glowstone, and two obsidian. I can do that quite easily. There's my two obsidian, there's my two glowstone blocks, though that's already going to eat all of them. Four of those. Four of those. And a bit of redstone. Now. This gets me the regular clock. 
this gets me the magic clock back. Right. Some progress other than building, I guess. Striking lightning. Strong lightning, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back to building. I think this has been enough of an episode for today. So we open this door so I can get through. Yeah, I think that's been enough of an episode today, so oh no, oh no, don't glitch don't glitch me, what are you doing? What are you doing? That looked bad. <laughs> Um, okay, new plan. I'm just going to be lazy about it and break through the flooring. And there we go. Dump these back in here and the diamonds as well because I can't be bothered with them. Throw that out. So I'm going to go back to building my uh, upside down near the fortress. And I'll come back when I finish all the uh, exterior walls. So this has been a shorter episode than normal by about 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe less, I'm not sure. Probably a lot less, but um, thanks for watching so far. I hope you've been enjoying the series, and I will see you guys next time when the walls are complete. I'll probably also remove all that damn netherrack up there. That's getting a pain to look at. See you later, folks.